Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our latest project that we've done just a couple of days ago. This beautiful chest of drawers made by Younger Furniture in London. This was in really good shape when we grabbed it, but just like with any other furniture, this also needed some attention. Let's see how we upcycled it. And welcome to our living room again. So I didn't want to do this piece in our garage because it's kind of full already with all of my other projects. And this one was also quite a small piece. So I've decided that I would just do it in our living room. So as you can see, the first thing I'm doing is I'm removing all the hardware and I'm just collecting it into a small box. It's really important that we always keep the hardware in one place, especially because I wanted to keep it. Um, I really didn't want to misplace it. After removing the hardware, it was time for me to clean this piece. And as you can see, there was a loads of dust on the bottom of these drawers. So it's really important to give your piece a very, very good thorough clean because there is usually loads and loads of dirt and grime and people are keep touching it and it's getting a bit greasy so you really want to get all that grease and all that dirt off of it. To clean this piece I simply use some warm water and I've put some washing up liquid in it and just grabbed the cloth and gave it a very very thorough cleaning. And as you can see, it's really, really worth it to give it a proper deep clean. After giving the piece a very deep cleaning, it was time for me to sand down the top. I was sanding by hand and it was actually a good choice because it turned out that it had veneer on the top. So it was not actual wood, it was veneer on the top, which is quite a thin layer of wood that you have to be really careful with when you're sanding it because if you are sanding it with a orbital sander or any sort of electric sander you can really easily damage this thin layer and then just expose the, the pressed wood which is underneath it. And as you can see, my effort has really paid out because it turned out to be a gorgeous veneer top. After the top was done, it was time for me to prime this piece. I like to do the top for first, just because when I'm sanding the top down, sometimes it turns out to be in worse condition than what I first thought it would be. And if that's the case, then I can just paint and prime the whole piece together rather than coming back to it at the end of the painting. After the priming it was time for me to paint this piece and I chose this beautiful beautiful color from Neptune which is called Old Rose Paint. This is a really nice pink color and I'm honestly really not into any sort of pink color but when I saw this, I literally just fall in love. This paint has a really good coverage, so usually two coats of paint is more than enough. But in this case, I have decided to give it a third light coat, simply because the white primer was still showing through the two coats. And I just wanted to make sure that this looks as nice and as smooth as it can be. Next up, it was time for me to give the hardware a really thorough cleaning and to do that I used this coarse steel wool and the barkeeper's friend. So as you can see, I am boiling the 
handles in some hot water and vinegar mac mixture and after that I'm just grabbing this barkeeper's friend and this steel wool and giving it a rub and it comes out just beautifully. I really like to keep the original hardware of any piece if I can because I think it's just part of the piece. And as you can see, it has really turned out beautifully. We gave this hardware a new life. And here we are at the very last step of upcycling this furniture. So I decided that I would like to keep the top in this really nice and light color. And to do that, I just applied some wax just to seal the top, give it some protection but still sort of reserve the original color of it. After I left the wax on for about 15 minutes, I just grabbed my buffing up pad and it was time for me to buff up the top. And here is the finished piece. I really hope you like it as much as I do. And if you do, then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because we are going to be coming back with more and more upcycling videos. And until next time, I'll see you later.